All right, and then let me turn my camera down so you guys can see what's on my table. Set. There we are. Okay. We're just going to wait for the recording to start. We have 29 people on, which is great. 30, awesome. Okay, so if you don't have the workbook, with you, uh, a blank sheet of paper will work just as fine. Miss Pross, can you guys hear me correctly? Okay, I don't know what happened last class, so hopefully this works. All right, so the workbook, we were working on, I believe, uh, facial proportions. So the next page is two-point perspective, okay? So this is gonna be the next page we talk about. So if you have the workbook, it's this page right here. If you don't have the workbook, please get out a piece of blank paper and follow along. All right, so let me just read this out to you guys real quick. Two-point perspective, here we go. Two-point perspective is the way we see things in the world from a corner. Things that are closer to us are larger, and things that are farther from us are smaller, just like in one-point perspective. But now we are seeing two sides of each form. So over here down below, there's an example of how two-point perspective works, as you guys know. There's two points. These two points are called the vanishing point, so there's one vanishing point in the very far end over here, another one on the very opposite side. The horizon line is where the land meets the sky. That's why it's called the horizon line. And it's more uh, prevalent when I look at this example right here. So this is one point perspective. We've talked about this uh, example before. So one point perspective includes just one point, okay? And uh, we've done this before with like a river in the middle or like a road in the middle. And then you can see that stuff is getting further away as it gets smaller and it gets bigger as it gets closer to us as it gets bigger. Um, and then you can see by, if I just label it with a red marker, this vanishing point is used to make these buildings because the tops of the buildings right here and right here are all used and straightened out by matching with the vanishing points. So if I just use a ruler, you'll see the tops of the buildings match perfectly. So there's that top of the building, and there's that top of that building. And then you also notice the bottoms of the buildings match up with the vanishing point as well. So this one and this one match up perfectly with the vanishing point too, okay? So we talked about that way earlier. I think we talked about it last year as well. So if you guys look at the two-point perspective, one right here, instead of talking about just one side of the building, we're talking about two sides. So two faces of the building are being used by two points. So there's this point right here, labeled with a blue marker, and there's this point right here. So since it's two-point perspective, this dot is represented by a couple lines. So it's represented by over here, this line, and also this bottom line right there. But the one on the right, those lines are uh, explained from this point right here. So this line, this line, and this line. And they all go to that one right there, if that makes sense to you. OK? And they also work for the bottom shapes. But I think it's better to explain uh, with example, okay? So what you do, if you have a blank sheet of paper, you can use a blank sheet of paper, so just like how I did for last class, or you can use this side of the workbook. So if I just turn this workbook horizontal, I can use this side, and that's what I'll do, okay? Here we go. What you're gonna do, use a ruler. I want you guys to draw a horizontal line directly across, just like this. I know it's kind of blurry, guys. Just work with me. There you go. It's nice and focused. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to draw vertical lines across the top. So maybe one vertical line right here. Just like that. Straight up and down. Okay. Another vertical line somewhere on the bottom, so below the horizon line right there.
And that's it for now, okay? We'll do a middle one just in case we have time later. But let's just do a top and bottom one. All right, now we need two vanishing points. So put a dot on the very far left and another dot on the very far right. Now, with your ruler, and then with a pencil preferably, what you're gonna do, I want you guys to create lines going from each end of these vertical lines. So for this one right here, I'm gonna match my ruler up with this point right here. And you can go any length you want, so as far as you want. So I'm gonna go this one and this one right here. So if I just hold my paper up, maybe you'll be able to see it a little better. There we go. So it's heading to that dot, but it's not quite at the dot yet. And then I'll do the exact same thing with the other dot. So I'm gonna draw a line right here, and another line right here. So my top looks kind of like that, okay? Now, here comes the tricky part. You're gonna draw a vertical line as best as you can, connecting the two lines on each side. So I can pick any spot right here for my vertical line. I'm gonna put it right here. And then from the other side, maybe I'll put my vertical line right here. Make sure it's straight up and down. Okay. And then for better, for you to see, I will draw these lines in Sharpie, the ones that are needed. And then I will leave the other ones blank. Those are the ones that we don't need. All right, to finish off the top shape, so this is the shape that's above the horizon line, you're gonna take your ruler and the furthest corner of the block, so this right corner, bottom right hand corner, this point will head towards the very far left dot. I'm gonna go from here, and then I'm gonna try to draw a line kind of across the middle. And then this very far bottom left-hand corner will go to the right dot. So I'm just gonna draw my line right there. And it'll, it'll, it'll intersect the other line, as you guys can see. It's kind of intersecting, making an X. So if I just take my Sharpie, you can kind of see how it makes the bottom of the shape. So you can kind of see the bottom of that shape right there. Ta-da! So now you guys can make a shape above your head. Good job. And it got also a cool trick, you guys didn't know. You can just flip your paper around. That looks like you're looking below it or looking from above it. Looks like a box on the floor. But we're doing it like this. So it looks like you're looking uh, under, from underneath it. All right, if you would like to, you can try to do the exact same thing on the other line. It's kind of just the reverse directions. So if you want to do it with me, you can. Otherwise, if you want to do it on your own, you can do that too. So again, make two lines on each side. One, two. And then on the other side, one and two. And then after that, vertical lines on each side. Doesn't matter where you put them. And then I'm going to skip a step. I won't outline it right now. I'll just go from here to the very far corner. And then from this corner to the very far other dot. And there we go. I have my other shape all done. Ta-da! So it looks like you're looking on top of a bed, looking from underneath a bed, or a box, another box. And that's how two-point perspective works. It works really well when you're like making like a building of some sort. It's pretty cool. I can probably do a quick example for you guys if you, if you guys would like. Let me put this away. All right, if you guys want a quick example of how this works in real life when it comes to real drawing, 
this is the one point perspective, right? I'll do a quick one right here. So I'm going to draw my line down the middle. So I know it's nice and light. I might not need it. Here's my dot. Here's my other dot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple of vertical lines here. I'm going to do one down the middle. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to connect some lines together here. So I'm going to go like this. So I'm going kind of quick so I can show you guys an example. See if it makes sense to you. All right. So I'm going as quick as I can, hopefully to show you guys that this does work for other things. Okay. What I just drew right now was a building. You can kind of see the corner of a building. I'm not sure if you guys can notice it, but that's how a building is from a corner. And if I wanted to, I can kind of draw, let's see, what else can I draw? On this point right here, I can do a sidewalk. And then I can draw like more sides of buildings and stuff if I wanted to. Let's see. So this is just a quick example of how things might work. All right, this is the best I can do. I know it's quick, guys, but I don't want to waste your time here. OK. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. There, looks like a couple of buildings in a row. And there's a sidewalk, kind of. So that's how two-point perspective works versus, uh, hold on, here it is. So one-point perspective on top, two-point perspective is on the bottom. Or I should put it side by side. There we are. All right, that's it. Um, we have two minutes left. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do individual shares. So if you have anything to share with us, uh, just hold it up to your screen. And Ms. Per